Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in today's tutorial, we're trying to see how to extend spacing, right? So, what do I mean by that? Spacing allows us to be able to add extensions to the three main blocks of spacing, right? So, on a fundamental level, spacing can be can be comprised of three main blocks or components. So, we have the doc, we have the tokens, and then the span. So, anytime you call an NLP object on a test, right, it creates a doc, right? So, the doc is going to be something like this. So it's going to if you call an NLP object on a test, it's going to create a doc finally. But the NLP is first of all going to tokenize it, tag it, uh, pass it right using the tagger and a parser and an NER. That is what it's going to work on it, then produce a doc. So in case you want to add another additional extension to the doc, it is quite easy to do that, right? In spacey. So the usefulness of this ability to extend spacey in any of these levels, either the docs, the tokens, or the span. That it allows you to be able to add extra functions that are not even part of spacey into spacey. For example, sentiment analysis, which is not part of spacey currently, can be able to add sentiment analysis to spacey with this particular extension. So it is very, very useful and very nice. Now let's see what I mean. So to create an extension, it's quite simple. You can just create your function or your package. Can just import it from anywhere. Then you call, you use this particular property or function. That set extension, right? So with the set extension, you can be able to create any extension. So there are three types of extension you can create. You can create an attribute extension, which is a basic default one. You can create a property extension using the getter or the setter. You can create a method extension using methods, right? So now after creating an extension, if you want to have access to that particular extension or to call that extension, just go with dot and then the underscore, right? Dot and then underscore, just like you if you want to find a string representation of something, you bring the underscore. This one is going to be doc and then underscore. So now let's see what I mean. So let's import spacey. So import spacey. Perfect. And now let's see what, what the NLP, what I was talking about. So NLP1, and I'm going to call it as spacey.load en, right? So if I if I create this NLP object, you will try and see what it's built up of. You're trying to see this particular stuff here, right? Perfect. So you check it, click to NLP, NLP1.pipe. Line. So a pipeline is just a list of functions, right? These are all different functions that are in order. So this is a pipeline. So one, two, three. So these are all functions which are list which are in order, right? A list of functions. That is simply the definition of pipelines. So I'm piping all of them together. And if I check the pipeline, we said you have a tagger, a parser, and an NER. These are the basic stuff that is built around the dog. So in case you want to work on a particular dog to add another extension to it, so you we'll try and do that by Let's call it as adding extension. Can't even spell extension. So we're going to import something different from species, something totally different. So, so first of all, let's work on the docs itself, right? So from species dot tokens import doc, right? You can't spell doc. So this doc is coming from here, right? This particular doc. That's what you're trying to do. So, right? So you're just importing only the doc. And I'm going to import additional functionalities from somewhere. So we'll be using NLTK. That's what we're using. So from NLTK dot sentiment dot vada import sen sentiment intensity analyzer. Analyzer. Okay, I think that's here. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. So if, if you don't have this particular stuff, if you don't have NLTK. I just install it with pip install nltk then you go with nltk.download then download all the packages and sometimes you may also need to install install ty tone right this is for something to help with the sentiment analysis this is just not part of it okay so perfect so we we'll call this now after calling this now we we'll initialize it so i'm going to call it a sense analyzer Then I'm going to initialize this to so sentiment. Now I'm going to take a different package, something different from space, right? And I want to add this particular stuff into space. So to be able to use it, I'm just going to create a function, right? So function, and I'm going to call it as sentiment scores. It can be polarity score, sentiment scores. Then I'm going to pass in an argument with so doc. That is a document is going to take. Then from here, I'm just going to return. That's my sentiment that I have. So since analyzer, right? 
dot polarity score and I'm going to pass in my doc right this particular doc that is coming from here passing it here so doc dot test okay, so I've created a function so this function is what is, I'm going to add to my doc right to be able to use it in space so to do that I'm just going to call it this doc call the doc from here right and then here I'm going to go with set extension right and then when I set the extension it takes two main arguments the first one is that you're going to take the name that you want it to be right so that is the name I want it to be so I'm going to call that sentiment right that's the name I want to call it you can call it any name then I'm going to pass in my function so getter then you can do getter and then setter but let's use only the getter and I'm going to pass in this particular function here that I have right I'm passing this function here so it has been able to add that particular extension to spacing so if i run something different to so nlp this example spacing dot low i'm going to run it again and it has added it to it already so i can actually use this one inside the new one i've created here's the new nlp i've created with this particular extension added to it so if i go to an example so example one then i go with nlp say this movie right this movie was very nice the movie was nice i don't know whether we call it nice yeah the movie was nice i don't know whether we see it like that's correct english so perfect i want to actually add my sentiment analysis to this so to do that just quite simple so i can just go with print ex1 dot bar so this is how to call our extension right to call our extension so we're just going to go with the dots then the underscore dot my sentimenta sentimenta which is this particular name here so if i change the name here to something else it is going to change that name so if i use something like maybe polarity score or something like maybe test blog or something that's the name i'm going to apply here right so i'm using it to call it so if i run it perfect it does analyze it perfectly so that is how to add extensions to our document level in space it is very very simple so the main most important thing is that you just have to call the particular component that you want then you create your package or your function your functionalities then you use the set extension to so give it a name and you give it a getter so the getter is going to take the function itself right the function that you created here then you're going to add it to the dog so after adding it to the dog just pass it through your nlp then it works perfectly by calling it with this doc this right so thank you for watching so let's try one more example and then we are done so example two and then let's say something like i don't like banana or maybe yeah, i don't like onions i don't like onions onions right oh so this is two and then if i run it again like this let's copy and paste we can do two Perfect. So it has analyzed it for us with a post. This is totally a negative polarity, and this is 0, 0.0. Well, it's, that means that it's a negative polarity. Okay, but even if the compound is given us as negative, which is totally a negative polarity. So thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, you can just put inside the comment section so everybody can benefit. And please don't forget to subscribe.